بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب The travesty The sickness The wickedness The evil That has taken place in Yemen recently With this attack on the hospital Is something absolutely deplorable In the eyes of any Thinking human being and first and foremost, of those people who deplore this action and detest this action is Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, the Salafiyun. Salafis detest this kind of wickedness because it goes against the Quran and it goes against the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and it goes against the Menhaj or methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah and it goes against the intellect and it goes against the human nature that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has blessed us all with if we are paying attention and it is an obligation for us to speak out against this kind of wickedness and sinfulness so that this type of cancer does not breed and spawn in our communities more than it already has. And that's why Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah never ceases to speak out against this kind of wickedness, this tragic and deplorable set of actions which does not spare the young nor does it have any mercy for the elders nor does it exhibit respect for humankind that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made sacred the lives that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made sacred Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran that the one who kills one individual unjustly as it is as if they have killed all of mankind so what about these individuals who have taken the lives of more than 200 people indiscriminately shooting women in the back as if they were gunning down animals in order to slaughter them and feast upon them and perhaps worse so and it is almost incomprehensible how any of these takfiri, jihadi, shayateen could attempt to justify an action such as this. And Ahl Sunnah, as the ulama of Ahl Sunnah, the scholars all throughout have time, have deplored. these types of actions but in this time and age we see that it appears that the extremism and the wickedness has almost reached a new level and that these people that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described as the Kilab and nar the dogs of the hellfire that they've reached another level of, of deviance and extremism to where perhaps they may not even attempt to justify in their actions, but just do as their desires so compel them to do. And not only have they contradicted the Quran and the Sunnah by taking innocent lives and spilling blood. Also, they have went against the authority in their land, the Muslim authority. And it was narrated in Sahih Muslim on the authority of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, He who defected from obedience to the emir and separated from the main body of Muslims, then he died in that state would die the death of one belonging to the days of Jahiliyyah. And he who is killed under the banner of a man who is blind to the cause for which he is fighting, who gets flared up with family pride and fights for his tribe, not for 
the Ummah. And whoso from my followers attacks my followers indiscriminately, killing the righteous and the wicked of them, sparing not even those staunch in faith, and fulfilling not his obligation towards them who have been given a pledge, is not from me. And this is in Sahih Muslim. Ayul Ahbab, the wickedness of separating from the main body of Muslims to such an extent that you kill innocent people, innocent Muslims, regardless of whether you killed non-Muslims or non-Muslims, or, or Muslims, it's evil. But how much more evil is it that you are, you are killing Muslims, innocent children and women, fleeing? How much further from the Ummah have you separated yourselves? So I ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala holds these individuals accountable in this life as well as the hereafter. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the Muslims everywhere and protect humanity from the terror and terrorism that the devils breed and spread discord and disunity throughout the earth. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Bless us with ikhlas, with the bad. Anything that I said was correct was from Allah. Anything I said incorrect was from the shit, myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.